This week's coffee is going to be Columbia Finca Santuario Yellow Bourbon. Welcome to In My Mug, episode 195 on Monday the 6th of August 2012. My name is Steve Leighton and uh, it is always it is a pleasure for you to be joining me. This time you're joining me in another hotel and I know I promised last week that I was going to try and do this somewhere else. In My Mug we plan ahead a little bit. So we try and work out coffees that we should do different times. Normally when Roland bullies me into making some decisions but we normally plan. So we planned for this week, because I was in Colombia, that we would do a Colombian coffee. And we looked at the coffees that we'd got left that we hadn't done from Colombia, and there was one. And this one, I was actually meeting the grower. And I thought, this could be good if I could convince him to come onto camera, we could maybe do one together, you could get to see the producer, and that would be really cool. Unfortunately, last week, after many, many emails, uh, to Camillo saying, okay man, I'm coming, you know, we've arranged this back in February, I haven't heard from you, is everything okay? I got an email a few days before saying that unfortunately he wasn't going to be able to see me, which is a bit disappointing because it was obviously planned well ahead. Um, uh, lots of reasons. I don't want to kind of like say, talk about the uh, specifics here because it's not the right forum to do so, but like I, I was left a little bit in, in, in uh, an awkward place. Good news comes from more bad news. I'm in Bogota now. I should be in Cali. More on that in a moment. But I'm in Bogota and I've spent the past few days cupping, cupping, cupping. And I think I may have found some great coffees for next year. So Colombia will still happen next year. We're very excited by what will be coming through. But unfortunately, this is probably the last time that we're going to see this coffee. And I'm going to do a more informed blog post on this at some point. So do keep an eye on Has blog for such developments. But so this, I'm in Bogota, I'm, tomorrow morning I've got a flight from here to Cali, which is about an hour's flight. I've got an hour and a half to get through the airport, get my bag, check back in, get on another aeroplane, because this is where I booked my original flights from, to Bo back to Bogota. Yeah, and then from Bogota to Paris, and then Paris to Birmingham. So I'm going to be editing this while I'm on the plane, so I, I kind of hope it comes out okay. So, uh, we don't talk about that kind of stuff on here anyway, we should talk about coffee, so let's talk about the coffee. This is uh, Santuario, you remember the red way back in the day, like back in January time when we cooked it. Uh, very popular coffee, we loved it, you loved it. Um, this is its yellow bourbon brother, so this is the fruit, the, the colour of the cherry. Red bourbon is red, funnily enough, and yellow bourbon is yellow. Yellow, uh, we paid an amazing price for this. I mean, I, I, I think it was an amazing price anyway. Uh, it was like four times the commodity price. Uh, twice as expensive and a bit more of the red bourbon, which was a great price too. But expensive coffees deserve good prices. You know, good, 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 yeah, good coffees deserve good prices to make them expensive. So this is a, a great coffee that I was, and still am super proud of that we were able to present to you. The Bourbon varietal is a very old varietal, it's like it's an heirloom varietal, so it can be traced back to Ethiopia where coffee comes from. Um, and he's super, pop, super popular, I'm not having a very good job of talking today. Super popular varietal, which tends to lend itself really quite well to espresso. Um, and um, yeah, I'm a big fan of it. So. Um, about the farm, it's this part of the farm, and it's a beautifully mapped out farm. Uh, I'm going to pop an image on the screen now uh, of the farm, and you can see how beautifully set out it is. These are all the different varietals set out on different parts on there. This is from the McKay part of the farm. Uh, I think it's McKay too, uh, and this is a particular part where uh, Camillo has the yellow bourbon planted. Um, it's from the region of Cacao, uh, which is uh, uh, probably one of the more dangerous regions of Colombia um, and not a particularly nice place to be travelling around so maybe Bogota was a better place for me to be. Um, 
But uh, it's near, nearest city is the town of Cali, where I, I should be flying into tomorrow for an hour. Um, it's very about two hours from Cali, two and a half hours. Um, Camillo spent a lot of time developing uh, varietals for their intrinsic taste quality and not necessarily for the high production levels. And, and he's, he's the kind of guy that likes to experiment a lot. So uh, this is why it was such a good fit for us working, working with him. Um, because I like to experiment and I like to see different varietal work. Varietals I find very exciting. So, um, so yes, uh, can't think of anything else to say about the coffee. Um, I'm not super organised today, as you can tell. But I don't want to miss doing it in my mug. And I don't get home till like, Sunday afternoon, which I imagine I'll be going to be quite tired after all of the flying. So, um, I'm going to whack you on pause. I'm going to go and make some coffee, going to use some canned hands, and uh, I'm going to make this delicious coffee, and we're going to come back and taste it. So I'll be back with you in just a minute. And we are back, and we are going to dive in. So my canton is just about finished. Have I told you how much I love that? Yeah, I have, haven't I? Sorry. I do keep on about it. But they are amazing. They're great for travelling, and I've been doing a lot of travelling recently. Uh, these have saved my life on many occasions. I don't have a very cool mug this week either. Yeah. It's a nice room, but it just seems a bit... That's... There's one, and that's it. Oh well, at least I have hot water to be able to make it. So, you can smell kind of, you know what's gonna come with this coffee, so you get a real dark chocolate to start off with on the aromas, and I know that that's in the cup, I kind of know this coffee very well. It's very similar to the red in lots of ways, which is now run out, unfortunately, so if this is your first time trying it, you wanna try the red, I'm afraid it's gone. Um, but this, I mean, this has been on the site for six, seven months at 10 pounds, and we've sold a heap of it. So this is really good when you're thinking in my mug subscription costs you 60 odd quid and then you get a 10 pound bag and you get another 11 to follow it. It's good value, isn't it? Would have been even better if we could get the, the person on with it. So straight away, that chocolate, but it's not your normal chocolate. Like you get a lot of milk chocolate going on. This is like a baker's chocolate. This is a dark chocolate. This is like a cooking chocolate. So you get that bitterness and a little bit of the dryness. But then coming through is this like juicy plum. So you get this lovely plum flavour come running through on your palate as well. And it's just like, it's got a huge mouthfeel. Like my descriptor for this is like liquid velvet. You lick it and it, you drink it and it covers your tongue. It's very, very viscous, like amazingly viscous. A little bit of a creamy shoulder to it as well. Like a little bit of cream has been added to it. But an absolutely delicious coffee. Like, I'm so sad that we won't see this next year. Um, I'm so sad that we won't see Santuario next year. But I am really excited by the coffees that I've cut the last two days here. Um, and I'm really excited where this is going to take us. I think we're going to have a lot more variety and a lot more kind of different, smaller, interesting lots, which I know you guys are in my mug love. So for every sad tale, there's good news that comes from it. Right, it's a nice, short, sweet one this week. Last week's quite long I thought in the end and we've certainly had a few long ones uh, since before that. Next week I hope to be at Has Been Towers. It would be really nice to do one at uh, Has Been. Um, so yes we should we should wrap up. Thank you very much for joining me as always and do remember life is too short for bad coffee.